How are you guys? So I listened to all your feedback and requests for another tutorial video. And today I'm my lovely model Kayla and we're going to be demonstrating instructions. So my model has already pre-cleansed her face, she's cleansed her face, she's exfoliated, all using dermalogical products. Now I'm gonna apply a mask to her skin. This is the same mask I've used in my secret video. And I have a mask brush. You can use your fingers, you can use a spatula, a spoon, whatever you have. And you want to just lightly stroke. Cross, starting at the forehead, moving down to the cheek area, and then to the chin. You're going to do the same on each side. And this mask is just going to help to loosen up all of the congestion that's within the pores. Because again, we are extracting. So we want to get as much debris to the topical layer of the skin as possible because it'll just make for an easier extraction. And of course, you don't necessarily have to do this step, but it just helps. If you don't have too many breakouts, you can really do spot treatment as well and just place the mask on certain areas of where your breakouts are that you want to um, focus on. So we do that, I'm going to go across your lips a little bit too. You're gonna leave this mask on for about 15 minutes. It's just gonna to start to turn charcoal gray. It's gonna dry up. After that, we'll proceed with our next step. Living my life, life is gone. Gotta wait to make the movies. I be loaded. <laughs> I got to wait to make them move as I be loaded. Why you watch the track before this? I just it. So we've applied the mask and she's rinsed it off. She used warm water to rinse it off. Now she's going to steam her face. We just boiled water, poured it into this bowl. She's going to hold her face over the steam for like about five minutes, not too long. And the purpose of this is just to keep the face nice and warm and supple so when you do begin to extract, you're not forcing anything out. When we force our bumps and any congestion out of our skin, we tend to scar it, it'll cause it to bleed, and sometimes we don't get everything out. So it's really, really important that your skin is nice and warm before you extract. So my model has seen her face, her skin is nice and warm now. Our next step, she's going to take two of our aesthetic wipes. You can use tissue, paper towels, cotton pads. She's gonna lightly dampen both of them. And we're gonna wrap our fingers with it. I'm gonna show you how to wrap it. You're gonna take one, place it over your index finger, and then you're gonna fold over, and then you're gonna grab the top of it and roll down. And lock in place with your thumb, just like so. And then you're gonna do the same with the other index finger. This is so we don't put any type of bacteria that may be on our fingertips onto our skin. Um, this also helps to make sure that we don't cut our skin with our nails. A lot of times if you try to extract with your fingertips, your nail may dig into your skin and cause abrasions that will scar your skin as well. So this is gonna ensure that none of that happens. So after her fingers are nice and wrapped perfectly, we're gonna focus on any areas of her skin that have a lot of congestion. You can just fill around with your fingertips and you wanna focus on the comedone areas, which are whiteheads and blackheads. We don't wanna extract any inflamed areas, any acne. When you have inflammation, it's best to focus on the inflammation. And when you get rid of that, nine times out of 10, the bumps will go away on their own. So really just blackheads, whiteheads, and I'm gonna show you how to specifically do the nose area because a lot of people get most of their congestion in their nose and T-zone. So we're gonna focus on the nose a lot. So she's going to take each finger and place it on the side of the comedone that she's about to extract. You're going to press down. As you press down, you're going to pull apart. While you continue to press down, you lift up and begin to squeeze and wiggle gently. You want to make sure that you press down and lift up because it's going to ensure that you get everything out from within that pore. If you just go and squeeze directly without pressing downward first, you're gonna get half of what's inside there as opposed to everything and you'll end up still having a breakout. And then she's just gonna work around her face. 
can do that with each black head, white head that she sees. And the key to extractions is making sure that you do this while your skin is still warm. So you wanna move as quickly but efficiently as possible. Once your skin begins to cool down, you'll be forcing the congestion out a little more and that is not gonna be good. You'll be scarring your face that way. So just work around the face and get as much as you can. So the nose is a tricky area to extract, but when you wrap your fingers, it helps not to slide as much. It gives you a little more support. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one finger and place it on the cheek area pretty firmly. We're gonna take the other finger and we're gonna stretch the nose and you're gonna go up and under. And she's gonna squeeze out. And a lot of those are gonna start to come out. And what you wanna do is wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. If they're not coming out from one angle, you can kind of adjust your fingers and do another angle. But again, you don't wanna to force too much. And continue to do that in the mirror. I'm gonna to continue to just focus on all the blackheads within the nose area and wiggle as much as she can and get as much as she can out. Again, we're not forcing. That's going to cause you to scar when you press too hard. And we wanna stay away from anything that's gonna cause hyperpigmentation because that's one of the most difficult things to get rid of. And anything that doesn't come out, you can just continue to cleanse and exfoliate your skin regularly and everything will eventually surface. So after you've extracted everything that you can while your skin is still warm, you wanna rinse your face with cool water. This is gonna reduce your pore size and also help to calm down any inflammation. Next, you wanna use some type of natural antiseptic. Today, I'm using Rose Water Balancing Mist by Jerleek. The purpose of this is just to make sure that you don't leave any type of residue that's gonna cause more breakouts on your skin. So this is gonna be antibacterial, and it's also gonna help calm down inflammation as well. The rose will help balance that. So I'm just gonna take it and brush it across your face. And I use the cotton pad for this. You can use cotton pads, tissue, you can spray it directly onto your skin, but I just like to wipe because this helps to make sure I'm getting rid of everything that might have been left on this and so our next step is going to be our calm skin arnica booster serum arnica is an amazing amazing product it comes in pill forms as well this comes from a flower so it's homeopathic you don't have to worry about any counter um, interactions or anything like that and what it does is work with your body's natural mechanisms to calm down inflammation, to reduce swelling, for pain, for bruising. This Arnica Booster Serum happens to have vitamin E in it as well, and that's gonna be really, really good for any type of scarring too. This gets rid of um, dark marks on your skin, it helps to even out the skin tone complexion, and the Arnica is just gonna calm our skin down. Again, we just wanna make sure our skin is as calm as possible after we extract. We don't wanna do anything else as harsh to cause it to continue to be inflamed. So she'll just drop a few drops onto her fingertips, rub it in with, onto your fingertips always. Anything that you put on, any serum, any moisturizer that you put onto your skin, you wanna rub it in your fingertips because you don't want anything to just be soaked up into your hands. So after she does that, circular upward motion. Go across your forehead, your nose. If you just did spot treatments, you can just put this on the particular spots that you did extract. But today, she's just gonna put it on everything. So we can really stop at our Arnica serum stage because serums do work as moisturizers as well. If you're going out in the daytime, you just wanna make sure that you cover your skin with an SPF. But we're going to use another moisturizer on top today. It's Eminence Firm Skin Akai Moisturizer. This has a lot of enzymes in it, so that's gonna be good for any type of scarring, any hyperpigmentation on the skin. It's just gonna brighten out the complexion and even out the skin tone. And it's a firming skin moisturizer too, so if you have feel like your skin is sagging or loose in any areas, it's gonna be really good for that too. So we'll open it up, and it comes with a cute little spoon. So you're not dipping your fingers in and contaminating the product. So you take that and we'll just dip a little bit. You don't need a lot. You really, a lot of the product, you just need like pea to quarter size amounts of it. And just rub that on your fingertips. And again, circular upward motion. Mm -hmm. 
cover the skin completely with the moisturizer. Rub it all in, up there. And this one is kind of thick too. It doesn't leave too much like of a greasy residue or anything, but it is thick. So if you don't want a lot onto your skin, just use a smaller amount. Then. So my last and final step is my Aven Thermal Spring Water. This is good for anyone that has hypersensitive skin, rosacea, psoriasis, contact dermatitis. My model let me know that she has eczema, so this is ideal for her. We're gonna spray this onto her skin. You can also use this after shaving, if you're traveling and you're getting adjusted to different climates, if you're being exposed to a lot of sun, if your baby has a diaper rash, you can spray this on them and any type of cuts, open wounds, and abrasions, this can go inside of the skin because it's only water. So that's about it. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, you can leave them below. You can also email me. You can contact me via Twitter, Instagram, and I will talk to you guys soon. Thank you.